Hello everyone, I'm Xunani. Welcome to this video. I will use jelly gouache the second time and other mediums like colored pencil and watercolors as well. I will make no pressure and want to freely find my flow in using gouache. Let's get started. I really didn't know what to paint. I had a few ideas, but not the best. So I decided to use my cool self-made book and pick a random prompt out of the little envelope. Let's see what we get. This one is... Mm, uh, let's pick a second one and choose afterwards. This fell out, I take this one. Okay, that's almost the same. This is fate, I think. I choose this one. Let's do this. That's a good page. This is watercolor paper. I will use gouache this time. On my Instagram, I have almost every paintings and drawings, so I will scroll a bit. Oh, I know, I use a drawing from Inktober two years ago. Here they are. This one is perfect. I will redraw this one. I printed it out and decided to only use the tree shape. I like the symmetry, but I have to change the face. I will use watercolor for the background. I really need a few more colors. I use them more often these days. I will take the yellow one for the background, let's see. For the details, I will use my Polychromos colored pencils. And of course, I will use my Hemi Jelly Gouache. But first, I have to sketch the new face. The old woman face is also cool, but I want something more androgyn and elfish. Oh yes, this will look great. Let's do this. I bring the sketch on my paper. I will be absolutely free what's going on on the top of the tree. I will play around and need some space. And meanwhile I wanted to show you the process of the old drawing which I made in Procreate. Time to paint a nice background. I use watercolors cause they don't reactivate when I paint over it. You could use thin gouache as well. to say sorry cause my cam didn't record. I have no idea why. It looked like it is doing what it should, but there's only a second video <laughs> from this part. So you unfortunately missed the first part of the painting. Sorry for that. I tried to explain what I did on my paper. I used the pink and the dark greenish blue 
the yellow, the orange and the white out of my Himi gouache box. This is my palette for today. I started with pink and mixed a bit blue in it for this nice purple. I painted wavy strokes out of the center. This time I wanted to follow my flow and listen to my instinct. The first time I used gouache I felt kind of caged. I wanted to use it in perfection. With gouache you have to do this and that and not doing this and that. And I wanted to only use this medium to get a better feeling for it. I link you this video of course. After I painted all the background shadows, I wanted to draw a few details with my pencils. I used this cool blue and this very nice purple, later some yellows and a dark one for the shadows. I write all the colors and everything I used in my video description, perhaps you want to know it. I mix some white in my pink and paint kind of discs or coins. I really like it. It seems like a tarot card in the end. I should paint a tarot deck someday. Really want to do it. Started one time, but it takes a long time to bring all the symbols and stuff together. Perhaps this is a good style for these cards. Hmm, what do you think?
There are a few things which inspire me right now. The nature which is growing and blooming. This makes me really happy. And I have also a few channels which I constantly watch on YouTube, which I'm enjoying a lot. One of these channels is The Unexpected Gypsy. Wendy is such a beautiful soul and is also connected to nature. I like her thoughts and her journaling and art, of course, especially her fairies. This dear Wendy is my interpretation of a tree fairy, the all-knowing and wise free soul. Perhaps you are watching this video right now. Let me know. Should I tell you something? She also inspired me to bind my own personal book, this book. I link her channel in my description. Perhaps you are interested in beautiful Wendy's videos full of art and journaling and kind words. It's almost ready now. I love the colors and how it looks in the end. I should redraw all drawings more often. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you can support me in subscribing to my channel and give me a like. I'm also very interested about your thoughts to my, I call it, tree of coins. Don't be shy and write a comment. Then let's look at the final result and I wish you an awesome day. Yours, Xonani.